everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Hello. Sam Healy. Welcome back, folks. Merry Christmas. This is our annual shopping guide where we talk about different games that you can uh, buy for your loved ones or <coughs> yourself yeah, for Christmas. Right. <laughs> so, From Santa. What we do for this is we pick 12 games. Each of us is going to pick four games, and we uh, try to pick games that are available. You can look for these games. Many of them are available on our sponsor, CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, and they're not necessarily games that came out this year, just games that we thought would be good choices for strategy games. Right. They are games you should be able to get uh, either now or before the end of the year, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And, uh, again, just a good sort of variety of games that are going to hopefully appeal to you or those that you know that like these kinds of games. All right, well, hit us up with one. All right, so we're going to kick it off with our strategy list. My first pick is a, a uh, card drafting game called Paper Tales. Paper Tales is a game in which you are going to be building up a kingdom and uh, fighting with your neighbors, uh, developing buildings. You're going to be gathering money. You're going to be gathering resources. All of this over four rounds and trying to, of course, get the most victory points. The game has a really appealing look. Everything looks like it's made out of paper, sort of, you know, cut paper. And uh, I find it to be a, for a strategy game, and it definitely is a strategy game There's quite a bit going on. It's one that moves along at a really nice clip. That's one of the things I like about it. In fact, uh, I've had players who, upon the first play, say, wow, game's over already. I feel like, you know, I... I, I didn't get enough done. I'm like, well, that's true, but you really, every decision matters in that game. You've only got so much time to make it work for you. So I really like it. It's a fantastic game. And if you or the person you give the game to particularly enjoy, there's even an expansion for it, which is excellent. So Paper Tales is my first recommendation. <laughs> my number one, uh, well, the first one I'm going to share with you is one called Architects of the West Kingdom. This is a brand spanking new game just came out this year, and uh, it is from Garfield Games, and they are um, really cool about making a lot of games that have the same look on it. They use the same artist uh, almost prolifically, I think. Uh, but anyway, these games look great, but this one is their newest one, and it is a worker placement game where you're uh, basically just trying to score the most points as in with most Euro games, but has this really neat me mechanism where you can throw each other's workers in jail, and then you can actually uh, sell them back for money to get more stuff over here. It's just a really neat little twist on the worker placement genre, and on top of that, it looks great, and it's fun. It plays quickly as well. Well, not quickly, but it, it moves along at, at, at a fairly good pace, but uh, that is Architects of the West Kingdom. Sometimes you want to be mean in a strategy game, and so mine is Gunkamino, or Gigamono, Gunkamono. This game here, um, this is a uh, <laughs> game in which you are placing tiles on the board like dominoes. Uh, each tile will have different colors on it, and you're trying to form these kingdoms and score points for getting groups together. And then you can even take control of a group and score points for that all the time, except then other people are going to chop it up into pieces and take it away from you. Really simple game. You're just basically playing dominoes on the board, but it has this very strong interaction. I'm going to cut you off. I like it a lot, and a fun samurai theme. Gunky Mono. That's right. All right, my next pick is Kashgar Merchants of the Silk Road. Very exciting theme, <laughs> but this is a very good card game. It's, uh, it's the kind of game in which you are drafting new characters with powers, putting them into one of your caravans, and then triggering powers. It's all about the resource management, and that includes the cards. The cards are very much, these characters are very much a resource. You have to manage them correctly, because every time you trigger the power on one of them, it will go to the back of their own caravan, and you might not see that person for a while, while everyone else is in the way to be triggered and activated first. I really like it. It's very thinky. The resource management in it is, is clean, but um, uh, interesting. Very good stuff and very quick turns as well. So, Kashgar, Merchants of the Silk Road, very much recommended. 
My next pick is Mission Red Planet, second edition. Now this one is one that we've talked about at length in a lot of our different videos because it is just that good. I mean, it did get reprinted uh, and the, the, the new edition is just a, an amazing production. It looks great, uh, little tiny uh, meeples instead of what were they, uh, cubes or something to that effect? Discs, in the that first. would roll Discs. off the board. <laughs> that would roll off the board, that's right. Um, and so it's an area control game. You're sending people up to Mars, but the, the cool mechanism that's there is a, um, a simultaneous uh, action selection where you're choosing people uh, that have different powers that are going to carry out in a certain uh, order. And uh, it's just a, a neat area control game, very simple, but it looks great on the table and it plays really fun as well. As with one of Z's picks already, uh, the game is it feels like it ends very abruptly. The end of the game comes a lot sooner than you think it will, so you do have to keep your eye on that one. But that is my next pick, Mission Red Planet, second edition. Very popular these days are exit room games where you go in and you try to escape from a room and people like doing that all over the country. Well, if you like doing that or know someone who does that and want to experience that in a box, there are several versions. The one for this list I'm mentioning is Deckscape. Deckscape, is a, it's a small little box and there are four of them that are in existence. I don't care which one you get, they're all good. Um, each one has kind of a thematic story. You look at a card, that card will say, what do you do? You all work together, talk about it. You say, this is what we do. You flip the card and find out if you succeeded or failed. Um, and and it, they're fun, they're thematic. And if you can't afford to go to an escape room, which is kind of legitimate, they're very expensive, uh, this is a nice alternative to that. So any of the deckscape games are a lot of fun. My next pick is Pioneer Days. Pioneer Days uh, is going to set you in an Old West setting and it's going to have you rolling dice, uh, using characters for different uh, powers. You are going to be, uh, be given a lot of different choices in this game. I like that there is so much going on, but again, the turns, the player activated turns are going to be pretty straightforward. And I like that very much in strategy games, games that allow you a lot of different possibilities, but no one of them is going to bog down the game. I like that very much in this one. Nice components in it. The artwork, it's a little bit uh, for me, but again, that's a very personal choice. You might love the way the game looks, but everything else is fantastic. Dice are great, the rest of the components are just fantastic. Uh, very much recommended. Pioneer Days is a solid game, one that, uh, I think not a lot of people are playing, so be one of the people that is. Pioneer Days. Be cool. <laughs> my next pick is Clank in Space. This is my personal favorite in the Clank uh, series of games. There's only two of them out there. There's Clank and then Clank in Space. <laughs> <clears throat> the reason I like this one better is it cuts out one of the problems that I had with the first one in that somebody could just pop in, grab something really small and pop back out and try to kill the game that way. You can't do that in Clank in Space. Everybody has to get as far into the, 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 the ship. Uh, you're trying to go steal some artifacts from a galactic warlord and uh, you have to go as deep into a ship as everybody else does. There's three sections. You have to get into that third section before you can go out. And that's one of the things that I think level the game a little bit. Uh, really enjoy it a lot. It, uh, the sci-fi theme is great. It has a whole bunch of uh, uh, campy, cheeky uh, quotes from all of the different sci-fi movies that are out there. A lot of the cards are fashioned in a uh, tongue-in-cheek way uh, in, in the same vein. So it's a great time, a great game, Clank in Space. I like to build machines. Oh no, I don't actually, but I like to build them in card games and that's Gizmos. Gizmos is this game that you have this little thing with these marbles rolling out, which looks cool. You are collecting these marbles. These marbles are counted as energy to build some sort of gizmo. And in this game, you are collecting cards, and this card will say, draw a marble from the machine. And this card will say, every time you draw a yellow marble, draw a red marble. And you can make these fun little combos. You just collect these cards. Cards are worth points. And these cards, as the game goes by, you get to do cooler and cooler things. Every time you collect a red marble, take a random marble. Every time you take a random marble, draw a card. And it's a lot of fun. You'll, you'll, you'll almost get so caught up in building your machine, you might forget about winning the game. But it's a very quick game. One of the most popular games that came out this year. Highly recommend it. Gizmos. You, you never forget to try to win, right, Tom? Nah, every game I forget. Mm-hmm. 
I love post-apocalyptic stuff. Mad Max, uh, you know, sort of settings. And Caro here, as in Kerosene, is one of those games. This is a game just for two players. And in it, you are going to be going out there, discovering new lands, uh, claiming that area of, uh, you know, that territory for yourself or your group of people. You are going to be uh, gathering different resources, but the whole time, you are keeping an eye on your kerosene. You, you have this massive plastic truck that's really a big sand timer. And everything you do in this game is going to cost you kerosene, going to cost you time. And so at the beginning of your turn, you take that truck and you stand it on its end so the sand starts to go and you start rolling your dice trying to accomplish one of these many tasks. Once you are ready to stop, you lay that truck down, you have burnt some fuel, but you hopefully will accomplish some things. And the game has really interesting mechanisms for refueling your truck while your opponent rolls against you. Uh, it has a lot of different moving parts, but it's a fairly straightforward game. As long as you don't mind that time pressure and you like a game that it really buys into that uh, post-apocalyptic theme, Caro is a really great two-player game. Looks fantastic also. So there you go, that's my pick. If you're looking for a strategy game specifically for two. My last pick is a game called Century Gollum Edition. Now, Century Spice Road was the original version, and then this Gollum Edition was one that they were just going to make on a uh, small print run, but they have since decided, nah, eh, we're going to go ahead and make more of these. And so it's still available. You can go out there and get it. And the reason I'm uh, recommending this one over Spice Road is because, in my opinion, it looks better. Uh, it plays exactly the same as Century Spice Road. You're basically using cards to get more cubes, using those cubes to get more uh, point cards and all this other kind of stuff. And it's, it's more fun than it sounds. Yeah, it's a lot more fun than it sounds. It's just uh, resource management and set collection is really the two mechanisms, I guess you could say. Uh, for it. But the artwork for Century Gollum Edition and the bits, it's not just regular cubes like Century Spice Road. They have these little uh, translucent gems of these three different colors. Looks really good on the board. Uh, so that's my pick or our last pick for the strategy category, Century Gollum Edition. All right. Now, Junk <laughs> Orbit is a game that comes in this like a rounded cylinder mm. and when Sam and I first saw this it didn't really look that strategic it looks almost like a kids game in a sense yeah. but it's there's some pretty good decisions in this one if you're looking for someone who wants something light and fun you have these there's junk orbiting different planets and you are moving your ship around by kind of pushing away from other things you're pushing in one direction playing a card that pushes you another direction and then trying to land on the proper junk to pick it up. So you're kind of making some cool choices as you play these cards and push yourself around these orbits uh, of the planets and from one orbit to another to pick something up here and then go deliver it to the other side. Really easy, fun artwork, and it's a fun theme. And you can even play a very interactive version of it if you want to like go after each other. Or you can play one where you're just kind of working on your own thing. A lot of fun, cool packaging too, Junk Orbit. As we mentioned, you can get all these games online. Check out our sponsor, Cool Stuff, Inc., uh, to get these games. Get them now. We're doing these lists early because, you know, you should buy your Christmas stuff not the last week, right? Yep, absolutely. That's, that's what I hear. Anyway, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Thank you. Sam Healy. Merry Christmas. 12 Games of Strategy. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.